Roger Federer is a cultural and financial giant in the world of tennis. Getty Images, David Cox, 59 minutes Wednesday, January 16, 2019 With an estimated worth of £350 million, Roger Federer remains one of the most influential athletes in the world, more than two decades since he first emerged on the Pro Tour as a teenager with bleach blonde hair and silky smooth strokes. Such is the Swiss star's marketing power that, even at 37, Japanese clothing giant Uniqlo still valued his signature at £230 million when he ended a two-decade-long partnership with Nike last summer. Such numbers are just a window into the world of brand Federer, one where the stardust tends to rub off on everything he touches. After all, YouTube highlight reels featuring Federer generate more hits than any other player, magazines who stick him on the cover automatically sell more copies, and even his physiotherapist, the veteran Swiss Pierre Paganini, is so inundated with media requests that he can barely cope. Paganini's bursting inbox serves to illustrate that anyone who has been even tenuously associated with his career over the past 20 years has tended to benefit handsomely from their Federer connection. Lucrative links Federer is a good man to know, Getty Images, take his former coach, Dominic Utzinger, who spent a couple of years working with Federer in Basel, back when he was a tempestuous teenager with a habit of mangling rackets. Utzinger's status as Federer's former trainer has since landed him a string of lucrative contracts across Asia, including a position as Sri Lanka's Davis Cup captain. But it is not just coaches whose stars have risen through working with Federer. British player Andy Fitzpatrick was a relative unknown when he was selected as Federer's hitting partner for Wimbledon 2013. However, simply being spotted drilling ground strokes with the Swiss helped land him a full-time job working with Sloane Stevens, and he's now one of the WTA Tour's most respected coaches. The first thing which working with Roger does is it gives you credibility, says Luke Bourgeois, a former Australian player, who spent three years as Federer's hitting partner. There's a hierarchy on the tennis tour, and as a player ranked in the mid-200s, it can be hard to feel like you belong in the locker room at the big events. But once I started working with Roger, I'd go to the Australian Open and have guys like Andy Roddick come up and just start talking. During his time with Federer, Bourgeois found himself regularly encountering celebrities, ranging from Jack Black to James Bonds. But as a player still competing in professional tournaments in his own right, the experience of hitting with the Swiss gave him a belief he'd never previously had. Those were the best three years of my career, he says. After a three-week training block working with Roger, I'd go back to the tour and notice an immediate improvement to my game. When you hit with him, he pushes you to your absolute limits. When he rips his backhand or forehand, the amount of underspin he puts on the ball means you literally hear it fizzing through the air, and then the ball just jumps off the court. After trying to counter that spin, I'd go back to competing with other mere mortals and it wouldn't be intimidating. I remember qualifying for my hometown event in Sydney and playing the world number 12 in the first round, after hitting with Roger, it didn't feel that difficult, Federer factor Federer in action at the Australian Open, Getty Images, Bourgeois set up the Voyager Tennis Academy in 2011. It's now the premier academy in Australia, with more than 1,000 players. But its success is in no small part down to the Federer factor. A lot of parents want their kids around someone who's been around the best, Bourgeois says. My link with him has also given us opportunities to go over to China, Singapore, and train some of their young players. It's done a lot in raising our profile to the point where we're really trusted. He adds, I had a call from Victoria Beckham one time. She said that she'd seen a photo of Roger and me. David was in Australia for the Invictus Games, and Romeo ended up joining our coaching at Sydney Olympic Park for a couple of days, sometimes even an afternoon working with the Swiss Compay Dividends. Former British No. 4 Alex Slavinsky was concentrating on his online business, Top Tennis Training, when Davis Cup captain Leon Smith helped arrange a practice session with Federer before the 2014 World Tour Finals. 
videos of Slavinsky rallying with the Swiss subsequently went viral and, four years on, Top Tennis Training is now the leading internet tennis coaching business. Read more, Andy Murray leaves everything on court once again, the gift that also proved his downfall, it was the first time he'd been seen actually training, and smashing the ball at full power, with a guy who's virtually unknown, he says. We put one of the videos up and it got 300,000 views within three days. Now, people still say when they see me, ah you're that guy who hit with Federer, we have over 750 videos on YouTube, but having that one really helped separate us from our competitors. Whenever we post a Federer video, whether it's comparing him to someone else or analyzing his technique, it always gets more hits than any other player, Slobinski says. He just has that aura around him, which leads to that fascination with everything surrounding him. Even at 37, his fan base is just so much bigger than anyone else's, which creates this continuous demand for content, more tennis.